Please. What do you want me to do? Phil Graves Mansion. Where's the steel watch when you need them? into the mansion's faded exterior you see the faintest outline of a door an entrance designed to provide the utmost discretion nothing responds within it is silent as the grave behold this tree is plagued by pestilence yet refuses to die the goddess Shontia wishes me to save it. I can feel it. Possibly be you, can it? <gasps> Fitz! If you want a sight for sore eyes. Where the hell have you been, girl? Last I heard you'd run off to Neverwinter, and that was what? Ten years ago? <laughs> Neverwinter? <laughs> Who told you that? Gortash. Said you didn't even give notice. Ha! <laughs> that prick, but. <sighs> Never mind that. Look at you. The years have been good to you. I won't lie. They have. Well, go on, girl. Tell me everything. First thing first, you saw the news, didn't you? About Archduke Gortash. Right. Oh, I'm sure the fox will make a great duke of the hen house. I think you were the only thing that kept him a little honest. After you left, things got dark, fast. I got out while my soul was still intact. Started working for an arms merchant. Still in the trade, as you can see. Met my fellow Gregor that way. We've been together eight years now. And Carlach, we have a little one on the way. Fitz, that's incredible. Congratulations. Mum life, huh? You're going to be incredible. Gods, I hope so. Even after all these years, it seemed to happen so fast. But now that you're back in town, you must come to ours. All of you. We'll have a good supper, catch up. You can meet Gregor. And the little one, in a few months. Are the two of you together? Ew, no. Just mates. Very good mates. Oh, that's lovely. It's a pleasure to meet you. I can't tell you how good it is to see you, Fitz. I'd love to come have dinner with you and Gregor. We're in the city on some urgent business, but can I come find you when it's all settled? I'd love that. Meanwhile, if you're still in the business of intimidation, you should take a look at my stock. Great to have you back, Carlach. Hope that wasn't a lie. I hope we do get to meet up with Fitz when this is all over. First step save the city then save myself and last but not least dinner with an old friend what more could you ask for Citizen, nothing to see here. Mm. 
No place to keep it. It was another day in the City of Lies, Baldur's Gate, where the people begged for justice until they starved. Two heroes were fated to cross paths that day. Their eyes met. Destiny was calling. Strangers, only in a fool's definition of the word, it was the start of something incredible. Two heroes on the hunt for justice, no matter the cost. All the tall one had to do was say yes. The tall one had failed the first test. They lacked caution. The cat could have just as easily been a foe as a potential friend. Perhaps... It was simply not meant to be. Upon their return, the cat couldn't help but wonder whether the tall one had finally decided how their die would be cast. Because they can't be wrong all the time. The Fentress are basically mercenaries. Stunts to reason some of them would side with a mad cult if paid well enough. Yeah, but I gave you first, so you have to go. So, um, Tahira, do you like to... That is... What do you like to the do? The Devil's Feet. Is in Hobbies? Let's go home! Picturing you strumming like on a harp so hard music. the strings snap and try not to shriek. <laughs> uh, 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 what, what do you play? Hmm. Mostly the same children's rhyme. They better the whistle of them. They do not get a lot of time to practice. Oh, spare me the sad eyes, girl. Not every daily deed is worthy of song. <laughs> Only none I can play. I get it. You're scared. Knock it off. Let's go home. Hey, it's Damon. Let's say hi. Carla, you're looking well. Would be a lot better if you find a way to fix this engine, Damon. I haven't stopped trying, but all roads lead to a dead end. Sorry. I didn't mean... Never mind. Glad you're all right in any case. Nice forge you've got here. Best I've had in years. Mistress of the house lets me operate from here for a fair price. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't happy. Good. Someone should be. Certainly. Shout if you need anything else. No one stopped me yet. Sightseeing? What do you think? I filched the wrong baldy and got myself buried for the trouble. Stone Lord, he calls himself. More like Stone Shies. <laughs> the very one. And my idiot self didn't realize till it was finger deep in his pockets. Won't be making that mistake again. Look, I ain't got much in the way of thanks, but the stiff below has some fancy doodads. You're welcome to them. Blessings upon you. I am Mortark's sire, devotee of Kelimvor. 
To think a man lay buried beneath death's soil. It is an abomination of his will. You did well to free him. My mum's down there. I put a candle in the box with her. She never liked the dark. More for me. I have something to ask. The Counting House. More bastion than bank, I'm afraid. Minsk must have a way in. But it's never had much use for coin beyond whatever sharp steel it could buy. There must be something in the vaults the Great Chosen are after. All the more reason to get there. Swiftly. I have no reason to doubt the Guildmaster's information. Only her conclusions. The Stone Lord she described sounds nothing like Minsk. As for the name, well, a bad joke, perhaps. A time of troubles ended almost a century and a half ago. I weathered the years between with all the elven grace you have no doubt come to expect. But do you know how Minsk, a human, passed those years? I'll give you a hint. They named him the Beloved Ranger. No? It was a statue, dedicated to one of the city's lost heroes. Only it was that hero. Minsk, frozen in stone for a century, and freed, the story goes, in the city's hour of need. Yeah, for Minsk it is downright subtle. He shrugged at the whole affair. I still don't know how he came to be petrified. The few occasions I visited his monument, well, I took it as a moment for reflection. To think of old friends, and the fight I had to continue in their name. And during all my self-serious brooding, that big, dumb, insufferable buffoon was staring me in the face. That was Minsk's feeling, too. Perhaps I shouldn't be working so hard to bring you two together. You're gonna have to bury me, too. The city is chock-a-block with bodies, thanks to these murders. I can barely keep up with all the orders. squares. I am more comfortable on streets like this. A peek at the face behind the mask. Yes, another thing we have in common. We're two peas in a pod. I said a peek behind the city's mask, Astarian. Not a look up its skirts. Jahira! What do you think of me? You're not allowed to play hey, here! It's not My folks are buried here. We do have to pay them a visit. Here. This is where they like to hide. But it's not allowed. Why are you being stupid? Is this part of the game? Here lie Pluck and Carlac Cliffgate. My parents. Hi, Mum. Hi, Dad. Uh, sorry I haven't visited. I've been... Uh, away. But I'm back now, and I brought friends. I miss you so much. But I'm happy and getting up to some really important shit. Maybe you can see for yourselves. I don't know. You're with me here. Anyway, taters.
Me too. Didn't realize how nice it would feel to come say hello. Mum used to say there was no such thing as death. That there was only change. Dad thought that was a load of woo. That gone meant gone, unless you'd struck a deal with one of the gods. Said he had better things to do in life than beg favors off immortals. I'm not sure what I believe. Something to look forward to. Bit morbid, but true all the same. Here lies Pluck Cliffgate, beloved husband and father. My Agnes should be dancing in the market. Flowers in her hair. Not here. Not like this. I hope the Grand Duke strings up whoever did this to her. <laughs> he won't listen to me. I told him it's naughty to play in graveyards. Grief is hard. Let flowers say. Come out, sister. I will find you. An air of decay hangs over the stooped beggar's form. The smell of rot. The smell of death. Sister always hides from me. She likes to play. In the ground? Over there? <laughs> Some people covered her in dirt. <laughs> But I will find her again. Mother and father hide in the ground with her. I hope I find them soon. I like this game, but it is less fun to play it alone. Brenton, beloved. Would Sarah like some flowers? They do a wonder at brightening up a grave. I bring fresh ones to my husband's every few days. I'm not. My husband was an ass. <laughs> but he gave me three beautiful kids. So the old goat gets flowers. I get them up by Bloombridge. A druid lives that way, so you know they're extra fresh. They're not for the dead, they're for the living. Same with funerals, coffins, all of it. I put flowers on my husband's grave for me, to remember the good from the bad. We get on better now than when he was still alive. Of course. Come back any time. You won't find fresher. Grief is hard. Let flowers say what words never can. Psst. Keep a lookout. The Mortark don't take kindly to raising the dead. But I won't be long, I promise. Well, it's this or cry. Which isn't gonna help my big bro. Now keep watch! Exorde me, Merkel! Resuscita fratameum! Emorte ad me redigo eo! The air crackles with power before fizzing out. The child has power but lacks control. I can feel your shadow. Give my brother back, please. The Mortark said the same thing. But I miss him. 
A lot. Fine. I won't try again. For now, at least. What's the point in having magic if I can't see you? Breathe it in. The damp, the decay, the smell is sweeter than roses, for death is a gift worth cherishing. I am not leaving until Lily has a God's damned coffin. I'm sorry, but our baby girl, our baby... I know, love. I know. If you're here for a burial, good luck. The carpenter around back claims there's a backlog. We asked for a child-sized coffin. But I said it'll take a month. Oh, there's a priority fee. But not all of us have the barrels of gold to spare. Oh, so. Seven years of age. And murdered. What kind of monster hurts a little girl? <laughs> Shush, love. We're going to get Lily a coffin, all right? Give her the burial she deserves. I'm sorry for your loss, but it will be a ten day before I can take your departed. Maybe more. If you notice any odours before then, treat the body with jasmine, honeysuckle, whatever you can get. I deal with the dead, but the more talk tends to them and the living who mourn them. If you have any concerns about strange goings-on, kindly speak to her. She patrols the graveyard. Good day. Do you know of another graveyard? I'm sorry for your loss, but... Oh! Well, there is a serial killer on the loose. Business is booming, unfortunately. Kill him, boo. Statue of Jurgel, Lord of the End of Everything, the final scribe of the fate of the deceased. Here lies Arthur Billfold, dedicated patron of unconventional arts. Shit! 
You're right. The article about absolutists. Bad news. Candle Hallows Tombstones. Candle Hallows Tombstones. Remembering the deceased with sympathy and skill. Before me. A fine selection of tongs, the one indispensable tool of the artisan's workshop, it seems. Tongs, so many tongs. Let's have a look. Down, would you? It's all in your head. I have a good mind to get the flaming fist before people start chucking themselves into the chiampa. Can you believe it? I thought this would be a civilized event. They are ugly. Depraved too, in my estimation. Maybe, maybe not. I don't think that would achieve much in the long run. The problem's at the top. After friend, got grub potions, a few nice vintages. 
Best stock up now before someone clears me out to fill their larder. Anything else? Gortash was talking about in his interview. In fact, I bet Gortash mentions you scum next time he's interviewed. This is the private abode of Alexander Rainforest. Friends make appointments, clients respect office hours. No time to rest. Hello. Ooh, are you the new cheese dropper? I do hope so. I'm almost down to the last crumbs. Alexander was his name. He dropped all manner of morsels, but the cheeses were the best until the red man visited. A dwarf, all dressed in red. He smiled and held Alexander closer, and then Alexander was shouting and struggling, and soon he was all dressed in red as well. So many red morsels fell out of Alexander. They tasted like salt and rust. Very good. Even better than cheese. Way to make more people red and to spill their tasty morsels. Go away now. Your delicious scent makes me crave your morsels, but it would be rude to bite you. Oh, wish I had a bag of holding. I'll give it a shot. No one fixes anything. Trap. Someone sending a message. And I'm not sure I care for it. Oh dear. Someone's left a trap out for us. Step at a time. Into my pocket. Dribbles fruit. Oh, and it smells even worse than it looks. Oh.
put the wind back. corpse regards you lifelessly. The heart-stopping bloodsucker. Ever since our last liaison, I haven't been able to get you out of my mind. <laughs> Nor have I, no matter how hard I try. Forgive the mess. Your blood is far more volatile than I'd anticipated. It's a breakthrough in the sanguine arts, the likes of which the world has never seen. The Grand Matriarch will have no choice but to restore House Ablodra after I present her with my research. But listen to me, rabbiting on about myself when I have you, the prize bleeder, on my very doorstep. If you'd come inside, we could discuss something far more exciting than drow politics. Yes. That is, do follow me. <laughs> Don't you worry about that, friend. <laughs> Fine in your pocket and the pick of the finest. And that might be well known. Gods, what a mess. Ah, a cozy little spot, isn't it? These four walls have witnessed greater alchemical triumphs than the keep of Erngath Durand. And now that you're here, the crown jewel of my research is soon to be faceted. All you have to do is drink Formula Gruner. I trust you haven't forgotten what happened when I drank something she offered. This formula won't be any kinder to you.
When you first entered this home, you saw the incredible latent power within your blood exposed in all its nuances. Formula Gruner will unleash that power within you. Risky, but, um, safe. I can probably handle a little fire, but I'm not sure about the rest of you. Well, yes. Formulae Arku through Fruag were spectacular failures. But Gruner... Gruner is different. Believe me. Oh, marvelous. I've never been so excited for anything in all my days. Just stand over there, far over there, and drink up. Always the way. No one fixes anything unless it hurts. Some of it, Got at least. Got a few souvenirs from the night stuck to your chin. Hi. And you smell like that place. Oh, my. My heavens, you lived! This is incredible! I'm seeing stars! I'd hypothesized you wouldn't, my friend. And you've proven me absolutely correct. You are the world's first... Detonative exsanguinator. To put it simply, from this day on, your blood goes boom. Big boom. <laughs> it's incredible. All it needs is a spark. Certainly not. But it might do damage to anyone who makes you bleed without your express permission. What an odd question. Now, let me offer you a little treat. In exchange for the teensiest vial of your marvelous blood, I'll give you something that'll really throw your enemies for a loop. I'll only ask a nominal fee in exchange. You really are a fine collaborator. Until next time. A little more work on my notes, and House of Roger will be restored. What to do? Seems like a good moment to talk. More beggars than customers these days. Suppose I should count my blessings. Yes. Um. Arms for the poor. An air of decay hangs over the stooped beggar's form. The smell of rot, the smell of death. Anything you can spare for a humble beggar? Beneath his ragged clothing, you catch a glimpse of rotten flesh more than any living being could sustain. This man is a zombie. Well, you know, a touch of scurvy, that's all. 
Nothing a basket of fruit would it solve. Could I afford one? That devil drink I spent it all. Oh, thank you. Shut mm. generosity. Private residence of Oliver Tofoco. If I'm not here, I'm waiting to greet you downstairs at Beehive Goods and Wares. down in history if your citizens right. die of thirst. We could be fired for this. on your uniform. <laughs> dared me to come here alone for a couple of mugs of ale. So here I am. Huh. Come on, mate. Who would want me dead? a date? Are you joking? The city is a hair's breadth from violence, and we're shipping off at first light. So? I'll be back by then. Mate, you'd be late to your own funeral. Look, skip the date, and I'll take you out the next time we port, all right? Her eyes shine with concern and love, that of more than a friend. Far, but yeah, I'm worried about you, mate. Your ship wouldn't be the same without you. Oh, come on. You know I'm a sucker for that soppy shit. Fine, no date. But let's say we grab another one here for the road. My treat. Deal. Oh, you wound me. <laughs> no pissing or shitting. If you break it, you pay for it. Any fighting and Captain Grizzly will shank you. Got it? Then piss in your cup, like the rest of us. Good. 
Welcome to the Blushing Mermaid. If you had to choose the rat one or the blonde one, which should I? Which would you choose? You're right. You're so right. Bosun, a red ale, please. about a bunch of piss ants and you fit the bill all i can say is this well bloody done city's a shithole cause as much trouble as you can hey eh? Content with That's curious. I'm sorry to report faithful readers that the mermaid staff do not care. Prosecco. Oh, God's never again. Never again. Solemn oath. Solemn vow. Solemn. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. One last binge is just what we needed. Because tomorrow we wake up as flaming fists. little citizens actually think we'll let them off the hook if they complain loudly enough. <laughs> what dopes. Helm's glory, the finest Marsember ice wine, and these fists want to confiscate it. I doubt their palates would even appreciate it. your hands to yourself. You're being watched.
point and then kill a citizen. Yes? Can you swim, Starian? I'm... I'm not sure, honestly. It's been a couple of hundred years. Oh, you're missing out. Loved it as a kid. Oh, this water looks nasty as hell, though. <laughs> well, won't win this it's war. It's not called Grey Harbor for nothing. Hey, mate. You look pretty well geared up. Could you spare a healing potion? <sighs> My problem isn't exactly uh, official business. I expect to get beaten up by some thugs hired by Hulbert Hume. So rich they piss in golden pots. Or at least that's what Henrietta tells me. She's Hulbert's daughter. We was engaged. Secretly. But now it seems she's set to marry Dirk Rillin. I tried to see Hen, but... Papa had other ideas. Have you got bugs in your head? The fists don't mess with wealthy patriarchs. They've got the watch to back them up. And nowadays, the watch comes in a steel variety, in case you haven't noticed. I'll take my lumps. Ah, oh, <laughs> my favourite flavour too. Thanks, mate. Don't fall for any patriarch's daughters. The singing lute. He has twice the kills you did at that age. He knows the seven major arteries, the blind spots, everything. That mind flare is done for. <laughs> Everywhere, the city is infested. I've been monitoring them for some months now. They're planning something. Something big. Goldbraith Stredivas, mind flare hunter. My son is tracking one of the beasts as we speak. No. 
The more minds for an illithid to feast on, the greater the risk. As I know too well. I tried to save another and uh, wound up retired. Permanently. My son has taken up the mantle. He fights tooth and nail every single day. I only pray it's enough. That I've done enough. It is rare to meet someone who doesn't fear mind flayers. You remind me of an old friend. A hero of his time. Here. He gifted me this. Call it thanks for setting me at ease. They won't win, you know. The mind flayers. Not with my son fighting the good fight. And you. Can you wasted? Wasted! <laughs> this uniform's neat, isn't it? But why am I? A shift at the counting house. Oops. <laughs> Could you at least try to stand up straight? I am. Oh. Belly up to the bar. We have mead, beer, and wine. Gold won't quench your thirst. Get yourself a mug of joy. Can't you feel it? Feel what exactly? Yes. That weird something. I don't know. It's like a tingle in my spine I can't shake. Are you sure it's not a trapped nerve? Let's see what this 
does. It's curious. Might be useful. as well meet the family. sure she hasn't actually died this time, brother. She looks dead. Smells it too. Oof. It has been a hard road. But I can clip you both around the ear to prove I am no ghost. If it would help. Forgive us, mother. We're just surprised you still know how to find your way home. She always brings the smartest people home, too. Enough, Ryan. I taught you better manners than that. No, you didn't. A sending spell can carry 25 words. Do you know how many Jahira's only message contained in all this time she's been away? Seven. <laughs> now there is a phrase Jahira has never uttered, but no. The message went, I'm sorry, you know what to do. So why haven't you done it? You were supposed to get the young ones out of the city. And you were supposed to be dead. That's what your oh-so-stoic message meant, yes? Yet here you are. So, what happened out there? I got my skin saved by this one. We've come to take the fight to the cult. Which is exactly why you all cannot be here. Why? You plan on winning, don't you? You're the one who saved us, so tell me. Are we all doomed? See, Mother? A little positivity. You are a very irritating girl. Uh-uh. This isn't your house, remember? You'll keep a civil tongue under our roof, if we let you stay at all. Have mercy, sister. She's old, after all. So old! Seems I'm outvoted. See, mother? That is how you go about talking things through with your family. Now, if there's more to discuss, then bloody well come in and wipe your boots. Coming along nicely there, Floki. Yes? Hmm. I have given you much reason to think that Harpers hoard secrets like precious stones, but I promise you, this was not some intrigue. Just, uh, plain and simple foolishness. As if by keeping clear of my family, I might keep them clear of the cult in turn. 
And if this fight were to go against us, well, we had already done their mourning. Why visit it on them twice? Well, if fool I be, then at least I'm in good company. I was wrong to think I could keep my children from this fight. They're Baldurian born and bred. The only damned reason I root myself in this place. This city is a cesspit. An open sewer of the soul that taints us with its filth and churns us out when all that is good has been stripped away. It also happens to be their home. And so it is mine. Ugh. That might be the first time I have said that out loud. Now come. We had best get to saving it. Lest Ryan turn her ire on us both. Those leaves are a little darker than I'd like, Felices. Bad soil? Hmm. Don't tell mother. to you, sir. Are you known to this court? Ugh! A ruffian has breached the manor. I shall have the girl at the door beaten, her hair pulled. Jessam discovered an old family tree in my study. We haven't had a moment's peace since. Tetherian nobility. You might be royalty, Jahira. You don't want to be queen, of course, and Ryan curses too much, so it would have to be me. <laughs> Careful, girl. They have a habit of taking against tyrants there. Huh. I'm not a tyrant. If anyone calls me one, I'll have Fig chop their head off. Coming along nicely there, Frankie. Good, strong roots. Well, what are we reading now? I take no responsibility for your plants. You know I'm more of a mushroom man. You've let my study turn into a thicket. Is this what I am hearing? I tended to it. I just let it thrive in its own independence. You know. Same way you raised us? I raised you to be a sweet and kind boy. What happened? I watched what you did instead of listening to what you said. This house has taken in a lot of children over the years. Mother dear was sometimes more commander than, well, mother dear. I believe the phrase she preferred was the fouler the fertilizer, the fairer the flower. Oh, so you do listen. I've only ever seen her truly angry once. We were down the market when I was about nine years old. Some merchant started in with the usual. Yes, but where's your family? Whose son are you, really? When mother was done with him, well, let's say he won't have any sons of his own to worry about. Hmm. Nature's law in action. You were hibernating, little cub. I can't think of another reason you wouldn't come down to say hello. Jahira! I d d d d didn't w want to see if you were really dead. They said 
Who said? Jord and Ryan. They didn't think I could hear. You little sneak thief. Well, they were wrong. Look! Not dead. I just... had a few adventures. Like, uh... Um... No, Cub. He does not mean me. Now, Cub. Solitude is a wonderful thing, but not too much. Come downstairs and fight with your sisters. Wait... Here... I was... K keeping this safe. My Harper pin. Oh, was a certain little sneak thief playing down in my sanctuary? N n no, no, no. This Harper pin opens more doors than most. Come down to my study and see if you can figure it out. Those leaves are a little darker than I'd like for Lisi's. Bad soil? Hmm. Don't tell mother. Ah. I wondered if it would take you long to spot. Trust me, take the weight from the pressure plate there. A glowing orb, it but its purpose is unclear. But, uh, better to stick close, eh? Patch of wilderness this city permits me. There ought to be supplies here to aid us. The arch druid's eyes and ears have fallen away in her absence. I am training new ones. There's been killings in a holy place. Sticks of incense and blood. I bring word of gnomes! Gnomes in the sea! Down by the blushing mermaid, there's a stink of something fey. Smell of ass too, but boss doesn't care about that. Oh, 
secret skeleton key. forward. A gift from my husband. I've had to renew parts over the years, but the heart remains the same as the day he gave it to me. Right of the timeless body. An old druid ritual. I'd best ask to hear about it. Yes. Ah. The threat of spanking never kept the children from poking through my things. Why should it deter you? It is a ritual, or it describes one at least. Practiced by druids of certain esoteric circles. If they be learned and powerful enough, the practitioner of this ritual might slow their aging, extend their life well beyond its natural reach. It is not something you need concern yourself with. <laughs> I've picked up stranger things in all my travels. Trust me. If you wish. It's, uh... Possible I was a little too quick to judge. A little too caught up in ceremony. It is... A ritual. Or it describes one, at least. Practiced by druids of certain esoteric circles. If they be learned and powerful enough, the practitioner of this ritual might slow their aging, extend their life well beyond its natural reach. It is not something you need concern yourself with. <laughs> I've picked up stranger things in all my travels. Here goes nothing. Just trimmed you. That reminds me, I'm working on office with a client. Coming along nicely there, Floki. Good, strong roots. Ready and waiting. Well, certainly waiting. We may venture where he pleases. It is you. Sir, yes, sir.
must have seen everything. Commander! Spare me your salutes, little traitor. You walked me right into that ambush. Sorry, Commander. You are my commander, but George promised me pies. Huh. I can't fault your priorities. You'll look after them for me? Can I have a real sword? No. Hmm. Fine. No arguing. Just tell me you're well. I... am well. And Minsk? We're working on it. You'll get him back. I owe him a kicking for showing Fig how to throw hatchets. So, this cult, what's our plan? I'm not fool enough to think I can change your mind. But if you're staying, I don't want you taking up arms. There are other ways to fight. Really? Like what? You shame me. In all our hunting, I had put them from my mind. Right. Leave them to us, then. If we can't get them past the checkpoints, we'll at least make sure they're watched over if it comes to fighting in the streets. If I have to stay home and babysit, then it's your job to make sure there's still a home to look after. Take what you need, and we'll do the grand reunion when you come back for good. So, lovely as it is to have you back, Mother. Go away. You have work to do. Aye, aye, Commander. Wait, one more thing. There are doppelgangers among the cult. Be on your guard. Huh. All right, then. If you turn up looking for hugs and kisses, I'll be sure to shoot first. That's my girl. This one. 